Hello, my name is Sia. Welcome to another episode, the fourth episode of 21 Herbal Plants with Sia. Today we're talking about this guy, Zanzafas macronata. Uh, Zanzafas macronata is well known as the buffalo thorn. Uh, the Zulus call it umlatlankosi and Tina Makosa, we call it umpafa. Uh, the main reason it's called umlatlankosi in, uh, in Zulu is because the chiefs and the kings when they die, they buried actually with, they put the, the, the plant on top of that or the thorns or the flowers or actually the, the, the plant. So it is our national tree number 447. It's a deciduous tree. Uh, in some areas, it's a shrub. Uh, you can actually cut it down. Actually in my garden, because there was a space where the, 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 the poles were not part of that, so we added this as a protective shrub within the garden so a big part of this tree is um is that it's got beautiful glossy leaves and it's uh, it's got flowers that flowers between october and april right about this time and it fruits um and um mostly throughout of the year and uh man this is a pan-african uh, a shrub or tree if you want to call it uh, because from senegal the west of africa to the west i mean to the east which is ethiopia down to south africa and madagascar you can actually find this uh, beautiful uh, buffalo thorn tree and there's a lot of things that you can actually do with it in terms of it being edible uh, because the flowers you can actually grind down and turn it into a pup like uh, a, a substance that can be eaten uh, throughout africa this has been done for ancient and ancient uh, uh, times so it is uh, very good as a coffee substitute. The Anglo-Boer War, when the soldiers actually ran out of coffee, they actually used um, the buffalo thorn as a substitute for, for coffee. So it, it, its habitat, you can actually find it in the dry savannas, uh, regions of the forest. So it, it's found in so many different habitats and landscape, landscapes throughout Africa. So, um, and, and the other parts that are really, really, really uh, interesting about it is that the bark can be grinded down and be used for complexion in the skin. It's a pain reliever. Uh, it can also be used as a vomiting medicine. We know very well that the Zulus and Kosses, they love their vomiting medicine. So this is also used and it's a, it's a, it's a royal tree. There is a book uh, called Ecological Intelligence where this, um, the thorns are actually on the cover of this book there's more that you can read on this um, read about on this uh, tree and shrub and uh, best of luck and see you next time <laughs>